everyone, I'm Blaine O'Connor. And I'm Jackson Ward. And today we're spending our day looking around the State Fair. I'm here at the new Education Center with Ms. Ruby Lee. Um, so what is the purpose of this building? Well, this building is, it's new, and it uh, is, the purpose of it is to educate children. This year it's on pollinators and dairy. Okay. So why was there a need for this new building? Well, they had an uh, education center right outside the Pride of Kansas building, and it was just in the hall, mm -hmm. and they needed a place to have it, and so they took Duar. This used to be where kids came in and did crafts. It was a Duar building, and it was out for probably 25 years. And I was a Duar lady, so I was a little bit sad about the change. Yes. But after I talked to Jackie Eckert, and she's in charge of all the education here at the fair, she was so excited about it and she said, oh Ruby, we're going to redecorate it and we'll do a section on pollinators and a section on... With the new building, what are some good things about the change? Uh, one of the good things about the change is it's air conditioned in there. Awesome. And last year it wasn't and we have more room to spread out and we make packets. We have a lot of things we give the teachers when they come through with their classes. We give them a whole bunch of things that they can use in their classroom, posters and materials on dairy and pollinators and different things like that that they can use. So. Awesome. Perfect. Now to my co-host Jackson Ward with our agriculture story. Hey, I'm Jackson Ward with the Andover Central Newspaper and today we're going to be asking some questions about boar goats. So sir, what is a boar goat? Uh, they're a meat goat. They're a breed of meat goat. What's their origin? Uh, South Africa. Yeah. And what makes them different from other types of goats? Well, they're primarily built for meat. Uh, they are the number one meat goat out there. There's multiple meat breeds, but they're one of the biggest and yield the most meat. Are they used for anything else or just primarily meat? Well, like us, we raise replacement breeding stock. So we show our goats to promote them, and then we sell their offspring to other breeders that want to breed them. But at the end of the day, they're, uh, they're a meat animal. So, during the shows, what do the judges look for with these goats? Structural correctness. It, it, what they look at is, even though these are show animals, they look at them from the meat side of it. That goat needs to be able to go walk a half a mile across the pasture, eating as it goes, and be able to walk all the way back to water and to get to the barn at night and everything else. So they're worried about their structural correctness first. And now we venture off to the Pride of Kansas building. My name is Blaine O'Connor and we're out here at the Butter Sculptures at the Kansas State Fair. What is the theme this year and as it compared to last year? Oh, okay, the theme this year is the Wizard of Oz and it does change uh, every year. It's been like a cow and uh, I think last year it was Dorothy that she was watering flowers or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but it changes every year. And who sculpted this year? Uh, we'd have to look on the, on, the, on the... I got a short memory. But what does this say there? Sarah, Sarah Pratt. Pratt. Sarah Pratt. And she's from... Uh, West Des Moines. That's right. And she does a Iowa State Fair one as well. I can't believe it's butter. Well, that concludes our day at the State Fair. We had a wonderful time discovering stuff about butter sculptures, goats, and most importantly, the education around the Kansas State Fair and their school system they got here is pretty interesting. Yeah, I totally agree. They have definitely developed this and it wonderfully represents the state of Kansas from agriculture to education to just crazy fun animals that we can get down here for people to enjoy. Um, we had a wonderful time and we can't wait to come back next year.